hoped this day would never come, but it is here. <sighs> there comes a time in every young YouTuber's life when eventually the worst thing that could possibly happen would happen. And for me, that happened with the Capitol Reef National Park trip vlog. I've heard it happens to everyone, and let me tell you, it is devastating when it happens, but I am talking about none other than losing footage. So let me give you a little bit of background story. Whenever I was on my Utah National Park trip back in 2020, yes, I know, I'm very behind on the editing. It's now like two years later, <laughs> but... Back when I was on that trip, um, typically what I do when I'm on a longer trip like that is I will film, and I typically film with my Canon G7X, which is what I'm talking to you on right now. I film with my GoPro, and I film with my phone. So three different cameras. And then, then if Brandon's with me, then we'll use the drone. But he's a pilot, he knows how to fly it, I do not, so that was not on this trip. So typically, I have those three different modes of camera. So at the end of every day, when I'm on a longer trip like that, I will dump all of my footage from all of those different mediums onto a hard drive. And I'm really bad with technology. I know it doesn't seem like it because I do YouTube and editing on all that, but I'm self-taught, I've Googled a ton, I've YouTubed a lot, I have learned so much, but all in all, I'm really bad with technology. So around the time that I was on this trip, my computer, my MacBook, um, kept coming up with this thing about how my my disk space was almost full, how I needed to optimize storage, all these things. So Brandon helped me figure that out. So we started transferring all of my footage just straight onto a hard drive and not my computer at all. Which I know seems like something that I should have known, but I didn't. Um, so I was very new to this whole idea of taking all the stuff from my memory cards and putting it on a hard drive. And I don't know what happened, I don't know how it happened, but somewhere on that trip, all the footage that I had from the Capitol Reef National Park, all of it from my Canon G7X, my main camera, is just gone. And I have no idea where it is. It's not on the memory card because I always delete everything off my memory card once I put it on my hard drive, it's not on my computer, it's not on my memory card, it's not in the hard drive. I have checked literally everywhere possible. And this footage is just gone. So it's so sad. Um, but Capitol Reef National Park was a part of our trip and so I don't wanna just leave it out and act like it never happened. So the next best thing is I'm just going to basically tell you what we did at this park. Luckily, I still have my GoPro footage and the stuff I took on my phone. I still have some pictures. But anything I took on this camera, my main camera, my vlogging camera, my Canon G7X, is no more. So I'm going to try to remember exactly what we did. Like I said, this was two years ago, so wish me luck. I remember that we woke up at in the Dixie National Forest in a campground there. Um, I remember that I had tried out the nightscape thing on my GoPro 8. Um, to see if I could get like the night sky because it is beautiful out in Utah You can see all the stars and it's just stunning. So I have that footage, which is cool And then I remember we left the campground that we had there Because we just stayed there for one night and then we're moving on to Bryce Canyon So this was the one day we had in Capitol Reef We left the campground we packed up and we went to I, believe, I think we stopped and got gas at some point and I think we got something for breakfast I remember getting like coffee and like a burrito or something. So we stopped and got breakfast. And then I remember we went to Capitol Reef National Park. I believe we went into the visitor center and looked around at that for a while. I know that we went and stopped at this little, I don't exactly know what it's called. Like I said, this is two years ago, so I'm trying really hard to remember all this. We stopped in some, I don't know if it was like a little old village or if it was, it was inside the park but it was this really old building and they, they bake pies there. And I remember we got a pie, a little little pie just to split. I don't remember what it, what flavor it was. Um, I, for, for some reason I wanna say peach, maybe it was apple. I don't know, but we got a pie and we split it and it was delightful. 
I remember that me and Emily lost Melissa and that was a whole situation. But we took our pie and we went and had like a little pie picnic thing in this really pretty meadow area and it was just a lovely time. I also remember we explored this little creek bed type of thing. This place is just stunning. Like I kind of feel like I'm in Green Gables right now with the bridge in the background and the river and and the green and the trees. This place is beautiful. And then what else did we do? Another thing that you can do in Capitol Reef is go fruit picking. Um, Cause there's a lot of like fruit orchards there. I wanna say, this could be completely incorrect. I wanna say people had settled in this area. I wanna say they were Mormon, but I don't actually know if that's correct. Um, I'll try to look it up and see. But I, I believe some people settled in this area and that was like the original homestead maybe. And I believe they planted all these trees and that's why it's such a big deal. So we went and picked some fruit. It's something that you can do there. I want to say it was pears. That may not be correct. I'm sorry. This is not a good video. I'm so sorry. And then we went on a hike. And somebody that we met, maybe in the visitor center, maybe in the little pie store. I don't remember. But we met somebody who's like, there's this trail that's a lot like the Narrows. We're like, okay, cool. So we went to it. It was not like the Narrows, like there, there was no water in it. This is basically the uh, Capital Reef version of the Narrows and I don't think we'll be hiking the Narrows in Zion because there is some bacteria and we don't want to die. So we might be going to the Grand Canyon instead, but we are doing this hike today. Look up, this is incredible. I wonder how many bats are living in those right now. Ew. How do you feel about the bats? I don't like the bats. <laughs> I don't want to meet a bat. <laughs> Not what I'm here for. But it's it was this trail that you basically walk through this dry um, creek bed or river bed or something. But you walk through this dry thing. And I do have the footage from this because I, this was all on my GoPro. Um, but you walk through this and there, this like... I want to say it was a ravine. I don't know if that's the right word. And there was like the cliff faces on each side. And I remember there were some hieroglyphics i think that's what they're called emily will be so upset with me if i get this wrong because she was she was so excited about these but like cave drawings which were really cool i gotta take a picture of this here there's petroglyphs them, though. oh my gosh you guys when i was a kid i wanted to be an archaeologist or a paleontologist but what does it mean <laughs> It's like they're trying to speak to me. I know it. <laughs> uh, we should interpret it like Teddy Roosevelt did in 1992. <laughs> uh, well, there was a horse and a horse and a guy on a horse. And eventually they jumped through a ring of fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it means. My professional historical assistant. Oh, sorry, I just ran into you. You are so wise. <laughs> well, you know. Okay, so this is what happened. There were the people in their village over yonder and they were needing some food. So they sent their horses and their men on a hunt. And as they were going on the hunt, they found this huge bull. And they were like, man, I'd like to eat that bull. So they were going to fight it. But as the bull was running away, the ancient bull god, because notice the horns, yes, yes. was like, no, none shall pass. And he put up his fire ring and he had a spear and they were like, Yes, sir! We believe in you! And they turned around and went home and starved to death and died. Man. Um, doesn't seem quite as likely. <laughs> <laughs> so we saw those. I remember we walked a while, rested. It was very hot, I think. And then we walked back. And then I think we did another trail. And if I remember correctly on this trail, like, you walked through it and it was like by a really pretty river. And the further you went, it was dry and it was like kind of steep, I think, if I remember correctly. I don't remember what it was called either. I'll ask Emily and try to put it in here. Again, with this, I don't have any footage of it. I remember recording because I remember I had to stop on this trail because I was getting overheated. And I have been a heat casualty many, many times, so I know what it feels like when my body starts to be like, okay, we don't wanna do this anymore. So I stopped and they went on and I just kind of hung out in the shade, like the one tree I could find on this whole trail. And I remember filming with this camera and saying, I don't feel very good. Hopefully Emily and Melissa aren't lost because I don't want to walk back by myself in case I die. So I remember filming that. 
but you won't see any of it, which is sad. But I remember they walked the rest of the way on this trail and came back. I feel like they got kind of lost too. I'm not sure about that either, but I think that happened. I believe that's when we got in the car and then drove however long it took, of which I don't remember, to Bryce Candy National Park. And that's the national park that we were gonna be spending the next, I think, two days in. So this is a much shorter video. I'm so sorry, like I said, I lost my footage, it's really sad. But you know, it happens and you gotta do what you gotta do. So that was the Capitol Reef National Park Day. Honestly, it's a great little park. It's a lot smaller, I think it's a lot lesser known and I feel like it gets skipped a lot um, when people go on Utah National Park road trips. But don't skip it, it's 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 a cool little park. Like it's, it's definitely worth a day stop. I highly recommend, but I can't show you any of it because I don't have footage. So that was Capitol Reef National Park. We ended the day near Bryce Canyon National Park and we ended up having supper at the little hotel we were staying at. This is, I think, if I remember correctly, this was the only actual hotel that we stayed at the entire time that we were on this trip. The rest of it was all camping. So we are all in our 30s now. I think we're all, yeah, we're all in our 30s now. At the time, it was like right before we turned 30, I think, because this trip was like two years ago. And the whole, let me tell you, that hotel bed was nice. <laughs> so I remember having supper there that night, and then the next day we got up for Bryce Canyon, which will be the next vlog that you see. So again, I know this is not the typical travel vlog for me, but I lost my footage. Hopefully this never ever happens again, because it is so devastating. <laughs> so maybe one day I'll go back to Capitol Reef and you guys can actually see it. But that is the end of this vlog. I hope you guys have a great day. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so that you can see the next one, which will be Bryce Canyon National Park, followed by Zion. And then we have a lot more travel content coming out this summer. So love you guys. Bye. Where do the bats live? What does a bat say? Echo, 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 echo. I'm already winded. That is not a good sign. Yes. Yeah. All right, here we go. The watch has started. The hike is beginning already. I'm amazed by these cliffs. Here we go. Something's in my eye. Ugh. I'm golden ring. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle ducks. And a partridge in a pear tree.